we will learn, or I would like to show you actually, how to recycle tin can from peas, tomatoes, anything what you can find in the kitchen and can be handy different sizes. For what? Like for example a plant pot. Quite cute, isn't it? Right. There's another one. Similar thing. Quite cute. Well for that you need to have a tin, clean one. And to avoid cutting fingers, such as I did several times, you use pliers and squeeze it any sharp edges. So basically it's sort of like folding down and it's safety to use now. Right, then you need acrylic paint if you have a handy around. Uh, place to squeeze your paints. Hand rug. So in case, like me, messy, you can clean your hands. Handy if you have. Then water, so you can clean your brushes if you need it. And anything else if you want to decorate your future pots. I have a collection of the brushes over there. So different sizes. Doesn't have to be something fancy. And a sponge, so basically a simple sponge kitchen sponge so you can do your pattern around. So let's start it. Be creative, don't afraid to have mistakes because happy mistakes are always nice to have. Right, we can use the larger one and to come, hmm, I can do mix purple with a white little bit. Just go around. pressure them better. Oh, make sure you do a little bit inside. That means to cover any anything what you don't like to show. Or to give a nice look to it. Basically, you put enough paint what you need. Always you can add it later. Right, where's my white paint? Acrylic is handy to have because it's quickly drying. And if they're fresh, it's easy to wash uh, with the water. However, if they not fresh, I mean, when they dry, that way there you go. it's nice to clean it after it. I mean, dry sponge or something. So it's really cool. Oh, nice color. There you go, sponge. You can edit any color what you like, what do you fancy, what do your favorite one. You just go with that. 
to look really, really nice. I find that really satisfying when you recycle stuff, so less pollution to the earth. same sponge with a fresh color uh, to add a different color like uh, for example mix with a blue or brown and it gives a different effect well I try with uh, I will try with the blue and see what's happened and I wonder how it's come out together it's actually quite cool love it So be creative, no, no certain rules is what I like about that. Okay. Or make sure you cover your table with a plastic cover. That way you can protect protect your tablecloth. Or you can have Disposable cloth, table cloth, so you can use at once, or you can put newspaper, whatever you fancy. second layer after when they dry depends how translucent you want to be so it's looking really cool okay what we'll do put it some green put on this side oh. before you put it make sure you're shaking so I found that liquid sometimes clear liquid come out first. Right, brilliant. Nice. Okay. Okay. So for this brush, what I like to do, pour it of around you can painting you can punching so it different have a different effect and by the way you have 
have to wear some appropriate clothes for that because if they been gone on it's a little bit hard to clean up and wash so make sure you're not wearing something fancy your friends over you can uh, listen your favorite music have to be professional like I mean for the professional artist to do but if you want to you can do professional and more expensive acrylic I found normal acrylic paint quite do the job so my hand. 
once again. So find a really This one have very sharp edge and what I did I cut a cable and then cut it in the middle and literally put it on the top of that but I have to admit it needs to be glued so it's safe. use a hot glue, uh, glue gun and this uh, glue can gr uh, dry and then have a so sort of clear finish when they dry and it's sort safe to use after when they dry. You not worry about how precise you have to be because it's given that nice nice effect after when you put it acrylic paint. The reason why it's a different cut because it's not open tin. Literally you have to use it like a tin opener and this is why it's a half really sharp edge and I literally cut myself a couple of days ago. So I suggest you, you not do exactly the same mistake what I did. Right. Okay, let that to dry and you can continue with the sponge or you can use um different size of brush. Hmm. Previously I pre-cut sort of like a stamp thing, if you can see it, I don't know if look, focus thing, yep, sort of like a leaf. What I will plan to do, and to put some of that on the top of that and see what's happened when I pour it on the tin. Sort of like a stencil stamp. Right, let's see. Whoop. Ooh, I like it. I'll show you closer. Quite nice. You can do in different direction. Ooh. You never know, sometimes it can be handy. Like when you pick out something like that.
make sure it's uh, dry properly because uh, acrylic sometimes when you put it on a wet paint it's like a peel the first layer so let's do it again that's nice You can use uh, um, stamps if you wish, but you can do freehand. soak in case you can use that again.
mom. like when they dry it's a little bit dull color so if you want to go nice effect better to use really bright colors Make sure you wash your brush properly. Don't leave it in a jar, because sometimes it's a ruin your brush. I prefer wash and create sort of like a shape straight away so it's when they dry it's again. Have a nice brush. Pick. We'll put it out back here and we can show it as I promise. It's my favorite actually. this dry I will choose what sort of plant I can put it there and uh, have a really nice cactus 